Okay, y'all, so this is a little uh, different of a module this week because we are doing our final project. The do now is an outline of how we have made, how we've used this stuff in the stuff we've used in your final project, these scratch concepts on the left. You're going to remember how we've used them in a previous project. Then you're going to look at both myself and Mr. Mevs' exemplar final projects for how we've done that. Um, and then you're going to give us an idea of how you could use this in your own final project. So I'll just run through how to do this. Um, I did motion blocks as an example, so we'll just continue to run through with that. So this first block box here is, um, how have I used this in a previous program? So remember in our healthy foods, we used the, um, the motion blocks by having the cat move towards the mouse pointer, right? It would go 10 steps with the mouse pointer. You could just write that. Um, we have used the move block in your intro project. Um, there's a bunch of different things you could write. First exemplar. So you would click this. And this is my Pokemon quiz that I made. It's a which Pokemon are you thing. So play through it. Um, I'm just going to put B for everything. But you get a point value based on it. It's kind of cool. Um, I'm really excited about it. You guys should definitely take it and let me know how you do. And... Yeah, when you get to the end, it'll give you a result. It'll change into that Pokemon. And then here's how I use the move block in it. So you have the Charizard moves around. Same deal, moves towards the mouse pointer. Um, you could also just look in the code for the move block, and you would see that mine is clearly hanging out right there. So it's in the result function, where it, um, it points towards mouse pointer and moves 10 steps, right? So that's what you would list there. You'll notice I did that. At the end, the Pokemon moves to where the mouse is. Uh, Mr. Mebs' exemplar is here. He's got a cool little centaur, um, catching stars, avoiding dragons game. Very similar to healthy foods when we did. So his is a little easier to see, right? The move block moves by just going to... It's, it's the same thing. It's pointing towards the mouse pointer, and it's moving, right? Um, if you look over here, you'll see those are the blocks right there. Um, and then how you could use it, so I wrote that here. How you could do that is you could have a sprite that is controlled by the mouse by moving towards the mouse pointer forever, right? That's really what all, all three of them did. Um, you could just say the same thing. So you do these for the next one. So like, for example, variables in all of these, it keeps track of score, right? Um, you just write that here. So I wanted to give you guys a little... Hit start on the do now, just some, some tips for it. Um, you're going to work your way through this. You have to do two of these. You don't have to do all of them. You'll see when you get to the final project. These are um, ones where you only ha you'll have to do all of these in your final project. You only have to do two of these. Um, so just to make the do now a little easier, you're just doing two of them. Uh, that's that. Uh, looking forward to grading your work. Make sure you submit the Google Doc when you're done. Um, all right, I'm going to make another video that is running you through the module, so looking forward to that.